goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. Hmm. All right. Uh, we are back once again. Um, I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, this this has four minutes left. Well, I can't just sit here and wait for that to, to grow. I thought I had like pots on me or something. How does that work? Can I? No, no, that's equipment. Inventory, perhaps? Oh, the gobstones. I still need to collect gobstones, don't I? Still need to do a lot of stuff. I have a lot of quests. Award for excellence. I picked that up. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Stench of the dead. Uh, for Thunderbrew. Dog bog tongue. Hmm. I'm not really sure where to find it. I'm sure it'll be explained to us later on. Um, let's do some quests because I feel like it's been a minute. I mean, I've just been exploring so much, and this this game really rewards you for exploring. Um, and I just really, really, really enjoy it. Live as a student. Okay, so a 10 potions class did that. That's all. Relationship quest. Was the gobstones not a relationship quest? I should look for the gobstones. Can I track this? Now is this one? That one's not tracking anymore. Cool. Let's look for some gobstones. Oh, no ding. There's nothing to reveal here. Gosh, this game is just so pretty. I could play this game for hours. In fact, I think I just might. Now, is this going to bring me to gobstones, or is this going to bring me to the person who is who is uh, looking for the gobstones? Rebellion. Oh. We heard a ding. Not seeing it, though. We hear it, but we don't see it. Unless it's. I'd better keep an eye on flu. high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Claiming to be the mother of a friend of yours, asking me to afternoon tea. What did I tell you about making friends with Muggleborns? I hmm. am highly affronted. You will not associate with this friend anymore. And if I hear from this woman again, I will see to it myself that you don't. Now tear it yourself up. Ugh. <laughs> I love that. I love just the extra little uh, world building that they added into the game. Like, they didn't need to do that. Oh, the stairs. Revelio. Is there a door here? I feel like there should be... Hmm.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Of course, of course. Rebellion. This looks like a high place. There's a bunch of stuff up there. A bunch of stuff I want. Oh, hey. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio. Yeah, I need to figure out how to open up logs. Adventure, are we? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Went down, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I would ever be able to find these without that uh, the compass thing. The thing that I'm currently using. <laughs> You know, I don't think I would really like to run down these stairs as much as I do in this game. So what if the stairs are just like, no, you can fall. I'd yeah. better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. You keep saying that as if they're in this room. Are you in this room? Oh. You are in this room. I see. So it's gonna give me like a little warning every single time I might be in a correct room. That's helpful. That's actually super helpful. Seems like a high place. Revelio. No, maybe not. Hmm. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio. You still want me to keep on going up? Oh. That's really cool. Where's this taking me? Oh, that's how you. That's how you have a bad day. Rebellion. Hello. Pull mystery model. The standing model of a hand is. Demarked. Demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Oh. Those are two very different outcomes. Hmm. Revelio. So even in magic, it's. Who's really say, right? What is this? So that looks like the symbol of the puzzles that we've been doing. Light bulb, pressure chamber, insight, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. There's symbols down here too. Is this a this for a puzzle I haven't found yet? Perhaps? Rebellion. We got another monkey. We got another monkey Accio. person. Now what do you do? Let me also. Incendio. Hello. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there.
Revelio. Not seeing anything else though. Seems like a high place, but I've not seen any gob balls either. Back downstairs. Oh good, we used the ladder. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Are you saying there's one in here? I mean, there was one in here. But it's no longer in here. Could I be missing one? Revelio. You're leading me here somewhere. Oh. Right Accio. there. I like this. It's a fun way to learn the area. I mean, I don't think we're going to get much out of it. I believe it's just uh, wand handles for this one. But I mean, eh, definitely not the worst. Oh, now something that we haven't been doing is we haven't been selling any of our wand handles. I'm not... I would assume that that also counts for... I'd better for... keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. I would imagine that the wand handles also do take up inventory space. Like every other item. Do these markings mean anything? We got markings right there and right there. That isn't part of a puzzle, is it? Hmm. Tricky, tricky. I hope this is leading me to an actual gobstone here. And not just where one used to be. Can't imagine why it wouldn't lead me to one. I guess stranger things have happened. You look like a fire face. Is this the same one that I saw earlier? I feel like I try to light one of these on fire near the rhinoceros. But it wouldn't quite work. I don't think I'm quite hitting it though. Maybe I'll learn a different spell later on that would actually. That might actually work for that one. My my book thing made the picture move. Oh, that's fun. Revelio. Yeah, I'd I better see. keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, there's one right there. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Oh, Hannah's falling asleep already. It would be nice if I could, like, ride my broom around town, or, like, in the castle. I feel like that's against the rules. I really want to do it. Or, like, a like a faster way of running. Like, I know that we have the, uh, the fire flues. But, like, I just want to, like, ride a horse in the school. Shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Zenobia, she should be right around the corner here, right? OK. 
Okay, well I'm glad that I'm not just guessing Revenue. with these. I would be so terribly lost if I didn't have a map. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Magic. Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? No, I think I'll keep them. <laughs> um. Yeah, I should give them back. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Don't do that. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. You should not dedicate any of your victories to me. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. You should not do that. Completely disregards my advice. What a little monster. She's wonderful. Terrible, terrible little monster. Okay, do we have any more um, side quests? Ooh, crossing wand round three. Oh, I never did talk to him again about his carts, did I? Delian keys. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And the Mouth to the Flame one, that's an ongoing puzzle. That's a lot like the Merlin quest, I feel. Actually, no, I've already completed this one. I just need to talk to her again. Um, cash in the castle. I should talk. Let Arthur know I solved the secret of the treasure map. I have a lot of these that I already completed. I just need to talk to the right person. Ah, that might be far away. I should check the map. Yeah. said that travel broadens the mind. That seems farther away than what I teleported to. Am I tracking the wrong thing? I think I... Yeah, I think I just teleported to the wrong thing. Okay. Because I think I teleported to the potions class one. I still don't know how to do that one. If I had a guess, I would have to make that unlevitate. What was that? Revelio. Just okay. Just cards Maybe doing their thing. Progress with your treasure map. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. <laughs> he shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. That? Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Pretty sure I sold mine, though. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Let's just go into people's offices and steal stuff. 
What a character. Um, side quest, side quest. Yeah, I can talk to her. Potions class. Am I tracking the potions class? I'm not. I don't want to track the potions class. Still not sure how far away is too far to walk. I mean, it says a hundred meters. I'm not sure if. Yeah, I should just teleport to that one. Why not? Probably anything over fifty, perhaps. Just because of how windy the castle is, like. It'd be a lot easier just to teleport to most places here. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Uh, either follow the clues or I'm not telling. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. I am jesting or I am not jesting. <laughs> e. You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve. Especially since I'm the one who told you about it in the first place. Imagine solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer. Practically competing with an elder to see who's a more infuriating know-it-all. <laughs> oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not telling. I really have made a mess Incendio. of it. Cool. Paper. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Oh, that's amazing. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I um, um... Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Sounds fair, though. Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Army spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. You're too trusting. What if what if I'm the wrong hands, right? Like you don't you don't know me. I guess I guess that's why you would trust me. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Revelio. Hmm, two more in there. Somewhere in here. Akio! There we go. 
No? One more? Revelio. Ah. And remember, we still have one puzzle to do in here. We need to figure out how to put up flame. Because we can go into that room somehow, but it's uh, currently a little bit on fire. Oh. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cresta. Oh, her diary. Today was a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Our broth smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. That's fair, meat pie is delicious. I mean, pie is great, meat's also great. Put it together, you have something truly wonderful. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Perhaps a reward. Uh, nah, I'll just give it to her. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Yeah, the library sounds like... Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. The certainly library. wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The library sounds like the absolute worst place to cast charms, right? Like, the one place, in fact, that you probably don't want to be casting charms. Quest. Spell combination practice. Hmm. I do like the crossing wands one. I'm not quite sure what the, the, these keys are about, though. Let me check out the keys and then I'll do the two crossing wands. Quests. Oh. 132? Yeah, we're teleporting. We're not doing that walking nonsense. Rebellion. Ooh, a thing. I like things. Oh, wonderful. A Dedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. Somewhere good, I hope. What are you up to now? There's the cabinet. Oh. How do I get this key in there? Slap. Oh. <laughs> uh. Slap. I don't know if there's supposed to be like a correct way to slap it. Oh, do I just have to slap it when it's like over the lock? Oh, too soon. I hate this. I think I hate this. Oh.
This seems like an insane minigame, right? Got it. That was fun though. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Oh, I know where this goes. It goes in our house chest. We got a point. We got a Slytherin point. Revelio. 84. That's too far. Teleport, 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 teleport. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant! What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Cool. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest. I've actually saw that right away. It's in the Slytherin common room. At least the game loads significantly faster than others. I should see this through and others. find the Slytherin house chest. What am I doing? I should, uh, boom. Oh, right here. This must be my... Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. I bet it's something good. 16. Ooh, I bet it's something good. Let's see, where else do we have a request? Um, we have a dueling quest, I suppose. Oh. This is just going to show me more keys, isn't it? I need to burn another enemy. I need a dodge roll. And then I'll get the Expelliarmus. Ooh, ooh, very nice. I might be able to do that by doing some more crossing wands. But let's do the spell combination two, and then we'll do cross wands three, I think. That order seems to make sense to me. Or whichever one we happen to talk to first, of course. Revelio. No secrets? Secrets upstairs. I think I need a key for that, though. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Sure. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio. Lumos. Oh. oh. Incendio. Yeah. Refresh, refresh. Accio. Incendio. Levios. Nicely done. Okay, so. Boom. One, two, three. Accio. Incendio. Awesome. Mixing up a little bit here, I like that. Accio! Incendium! One, two, three. 
Impressive wand work. I Thank hate you. to face you in a duel. Uh, I'll be nice. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you <laughs> again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Wait, can they Other challenge me? Had better beware. Was that a joke or can they actually challenge me? Wait, did trading dummies think? I don't... I don't know the ins and outs of magic stuff. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot yes. at glory? I sure am. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? No. I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Oh, four on one. Wonderful. Of course, of course. Break through red shells with damage spells, like fire making spell. Uh, target lock, half lock, less enemies without aiming. Yep, I think we already know all that. Incendio. Come on. that one up. I do have eight healing potions. <laughs> they made a crop's breakfast out of you that round. Get to try again. Is this just how like tournament tournaments work? You can yes, just I'm try again. Now. Very well. Good luck out there. Doesn't feel like that's how it should work. I mean, I'm here for it, you know. Incendio. Protego. Stupid. Levioso. Stupid one. Oh, stupid one. There goes my way. Come on, I want you. Stupid one. Levioso. I want you. Stupid one. Accio. Stupid one. Levioso. There we go. Okay. Stupid one. Accio. Levioso. Stupid one. Levioso. Too many, too many. Stupid one. Stupid up on each other. Like, uh. Oh, still. Incendio. I don't think I was close enough for that fire. Can that fire spell. Again? Yeah. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Yeah, now I'm ready. There's a guy behind me that I couldn't see. I think he was throwing me out. Oh. Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. 
What am I doing wrong? My inferno one doesn't seem to be working very well. Incendio. Bodega. Stupid. Stupid. I want you. I want you. Incendio. Stupid. Incendio. I don't know why you're locking on him. Like, I want the guy that I'm clearly looking at, right? Hmm. Care to try again? Yes. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I'll get it this time. Incendio. Accio. There we go. No, get the guy that doesn't have a shield. Stupid one. Incendio. Oh, I see. I see what I did there. Stupid fight. Incendio. Stupid fight. Stupid fight. Incendio. Oh, I'll take it. I drank that health potion Can't right as I again? went down. So didn't count. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Okay, skip that. I think. I mean, I did better, right? There we go. Now I just have to juggle you. Oh, 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 oh. No! Ugh. Care to try again? I was so close. I was so close. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Yeah, she she broke my, my streak. Well, that's Incendio. quite what I wanted. Stupid. Act 
here. Potato, stupefy. Stupefy. Levioso. Yeah, I think you just really need to target a single person at once. Incendio. Oh, yeah. Stupid one. Incendio. Do a far. There we go. You, you just did like five times in a row, actually. What's a victory! You've won the tournament! Just getting started. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Durmstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! Ooh, close. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet Good token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. They're probably all dead. Well, I guess magic is a thing, right? So. Actually, they're probably all fine. I got, I got stuff. I like stuff. Stuff is my favorite. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. I really don't like any of these. I like this one the most. Well... That one's kind of cool. I, I think I like this one most. Yeah. And I got new robes, right? Maybe not. Hmm. Now what? Uh, let's see. Quests. I could keep on doing the keys, I suppose, or I could do this mini quest here. The keys might be fun. Let's do let's do some keys. Revelio. No path. Right, because I, I have to find it, right? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can't track that. I need to dodge an attack. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's do this this thing. Uh, it wasn't quite in Hogsmeade, was it? Yeah, it was down here. And we should be able to find at least one enemy that we can dodge an attack from. Should be pretty simple. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Ah, you do just fine. Big fish in a small pond, you know? If you're here for my wares... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say! Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. <laughs> Thank you for proving them wrong. There was no trouble. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. 
<gasps> you know, you've inspired me. Paint me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. I mean me. It'll be me. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Are you... Are you gonna paint me? Perhaps like one of your French girls? All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. All right now. Uh, I don't think I want any of this, really. That's too bad. I guess I can sell you stuff. More than happy to purchase that. Good to have stock, I always say. And then I can't buy it back, actually. Hmm. That's fine. I don't need it anyway. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? Eh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. God, these maps are so big. We can go all the way down here. Enemy level 30 to 40. You know... If the enemy level is higher... Enemy level 1 to 20. 10 to 30. You know, we might be able to just get better loot. Right? That makes sense to me. So... What if we do a little... A little explore, maybe right here, and then go off to the the east. Yeah, see if we can start venturing off into like the higher level areas, in the hopes of finding higher level goodies. Am I facing the correct direction? Uh, I am facing the opposite. Collect a chest, one of one. Oh, so it does tell you. That's nice. I like that. It does tell you what you've actually collected and what you haven't. The road forks. What's to the left and what's to the right? Can't really zoom in much, can I? It's not quite what I want either. I'll just go forward and see what I find. There should be another you fire flu up ahead. Imagine how inconvenient travel was. The road forks again. Get some toadstool caps. I wonder how many of these I can collect. I mean, it doesn't seem to be stopping me, and I already have quite I a few. Can't. Protego! Nope. Akio! Revelio! I was a proud man that day, and there's more of those days ahead. Are you sure about that? I think you're about to get beaten up by a by a first year, fifth year. Could do worse than Peter Palmer. <laughs> a thousand. Akio. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's a curse. Oh, 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 fingers. Fingers are doing finger things. I'm just warming up. You will pay for your deed. Get a rock. Shame nobody saw that. Yeah, no one that survived. I guess I don't feel that bad killing them because they're usually. This they're, place they're, has seen better days. 
they're actually using curses. Rebellion. Like, illegal curses. Rebellion. What are those? Oh, toadstools? So we have some sort of Merlin trial here. Can I go inside? Let me in. No. I asked nicely, can you let me in? I'm not sure why I can't go in there. I couldn't run either, I was stuck walking. Could it be? Another Could it trial? be? Another Merlin trial? No way. Rebellion. Okay. We got one, two, three. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Protego. Incendio. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. What else do I have? Repair I don't I don't think would work. Oh, I know this one will do the the, the floaty globe challenge or uh, uh uh things. You know what I mean, maybe. I see. Yeah, I'm assuming I just don't know the story. Levioso. Incendio. Lumos. Hmm. Well, I guess best to come back to this one then. Levioso. Hmm. Bummer. Oop. Stuff. Rebellion. Now, where was I going? It does look like it could be goodies in here. I would love to be able to, like, explore an area and be like, oh, here's just uh, the ruins of a castle, just... You know, just chilling. Thousands of years old ruins, just casually. Right here. Ooh, Scarecrow Sorcery Hat. I already have one of those. Rebellion. Ah, uh, there is something down here, though. I don't think that's the way I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> uh, whoops. Um, do you have a new hat, though? Oh, it's locked. It's better by one. Oh, bummer. I suppose that is an issue with going to, uh more challenging areas that the loot might be might be locked, huh? Ashwinder eggs. I didn't know that was a thing. Interesting. I want to go down here. Um, I'm already too far down. Oh, I see. 
I see. I just got invisible walled. Oops. Okay, so maybe don't jump off the the face of a cliff. I guess that's a bad move. Who lived here, I wonder? Who lived here, I wonder? Not the people I just murdered. Couldn't be them. Well, the path forked quite a few times, so I think... I should just go one of those few directions, and I should be finding something quite interesting. Uh, with any luck, that is. in a valley right now. I kind of want the... To find the high spot if I can. Oh, here's a path. Ooh, a spitter. Magic attack was that? Incendio. Please. Oh, it's... I don't know why that was too far away. Incendio. Awesome. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Revelio. See, I think that might have been all the loot. Ooh, cave. I should investigate. Yeah. I mean, there's there's just a cave. Caves always mean goodies, right? Revelio. No mama spider? Lumos. Incendio. There we go. Ooh, a new scarf. Do you like scarves? And it's better. By eight. Okay. It's not bad. It's, it kind of matches. I like it. Yeah, look at me. Oh. Wonder if I can buy these clothes. Right, like I feel like every single one of these outfits should be able to be purchased. Hello, good sir. Levioso. Akio. <laughs> All right, buddy. Carry on. Wait. There's a village up there. I knew that, right? Yeah, that's... No. No, I don't know about this village. I want to go up there. 
Wait, how do I... How do I do that? I don't see a path. Unless it's... Around here somewhere. Hmm. I can always come back too. Akio. Yeah, I'm going this way now. I feel like having a broom would make travel a whole lot easier though. Back at Hogwarts. Oh. Ah, it's so pretty. Yeah, I'm not right, really sure if this actually leads to anything. Although I do see a lot of cobweb right there. Maybe we're... We're wandering to a massive spider den. Yeah... So, yep. Akio. Incendio. Oh, 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 oh. Interesting. Well, you have the fire symbol all over you, so... Revelio. Where do you go? Levioso. Accio. Right, you're mine. Oh, oh. Spider. Big spider. Real. Real big evil spider. Ooh. Hate it. Incendio. I am inside him. Okay. Cool. Wow. Yeah, I hate this. You let go of that well, guys. I'm getting pretty decent at dodging, though. Oh, hello. Uh, one second. I'm taking care of your, your young one here first. Incendio. Don't seem to be hitting there. 
There we go. Expectations. I just got a new achievement, um, and it distracted me for just a brief moment until I got hit. So I, I like the irony there. I imagine that achievement was like, oh, chain X amount of times without getting hit, and then I got distracted and I got hit. This might hurt. Incendio. Oh, it worked. Oh, good. Accio. Oh, that's not fair. I don't think that's fair. Okay, these guys don't like that I just stole their food. Do you revelio your first life you took? Can't say I do. Are you a bad guy? Did I just... Did I just free a bad guy? Where did you go? Ooh. Did I just free a bad person? Oh, that's okay, I guess. No, I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm gone. I got stuff to do. Non-spider stuff. Revelio. Oh god, they keep on respawning though. Please be done. I got goodies to unlock. Here we go. Oh. Do I fire? Incendio. I feel like that was correct. Was that not correct? I can move this, so I feel like I should. Oh, I should probably move it right here so I can hop up on the ledge. That feels like something I should do, yeah. Incendio. Feels like I should be able to crawl in. Oh, I can just. Oh, that's not. Okay. Levioso. Accio. I have a feeling this isn't quite seated in properly. Incendio. Something should be happening. Accio. Does it need to be centered more? Let me answer. Accio. Uh, 
I'm not quite sure what's missing. Incendio. Is that not? Revelio. Hmm. I feel like that should just do it. Or maybe that did do it. I just wasn't paying attention to a secret door opening. Ooh, stuff. Golden dragon eyed spectacles. Hmm. They don't seem to be better or worse than the current ones I have on. Although the current ones I have on um, is a cosmetic Rebellion. that's doing it. Okay, so there's just. There's evil down below. Got it. There's gonna be more spiders over here, aren't there? Or a Merlin trial. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Not enough Malo sweet. Oh, of course, of course. Can I climb? That looks a little huh. bit steep. Oh, I can climb. Ooh. Come again? Oh, <laughs> what? Fireworks? go up. I feel like I want to go up. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna be on top of this mountain. Oh. Yes, an invisible wall. I mean, a magic barrier. That's fun. I like how they did that. That's right, because like any invisible wall, you can just make it like canonical like oh yes our magic barrier that protects the students oh that's fun um oh i didn't quite find this one did i bummer well i guess i can go back to questing i did just do an um complete an assignment Let's let's go learn a new spell. This potions class. Yes, I want to go. I want to go there. Take care of everything I had asked you to do. I believe so. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. Uh, the disarming charm dis may oh, often yeah, be disarms. all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. I think I will. 
Um, I don't think I've really used Lumos much. So let's replace that with four. Expelliarmus, you seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Accio. Leviosa. Expelliarmus. Still Incendio. Accio. Leviosa. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Cool. And this is, this is a long range attack, isn't it? So let's actually switch those, okay. Let's switch those two because I don't typically use the short range fire attack very often. And a red attack to um, disarm shields at a distance sounds super useful. Super, super useful. I think I will attend potions class. Uh, where is uh, where's potions class? Oh, is it down? Yeah, it looks like it's downstairs. Yeah, looks like I picked the wrong fire flu. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. <laughs> Rebellion. Yes. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Oh. Secret, secret. Let me just go in your office. Memorandum. Date, 31st of December, 1875. From Or Office. Subject, Borgen and Burks. Oregon and Burks has had an inc increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with s suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more orders to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. Oh, what are those again? I can't exactly remember what orders do. I'll have to look that one up sometime soon here. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, yes. can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. It does not cure limps, apparently. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Let's 
stir, stir, stir. This is fun. I like this. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley good, yeah. had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Stealing. Come see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Pure skill, man. Pure skill. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the... Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganweld potion. Oh! You're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well thank done. Thank you. Hmm. I was relieved. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really. Wait, that's a real language. I am a self-taught speaker. <laughs> Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Oh. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Cool. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan World potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. My Wiccan World potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could oh. just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Oh, that's right, I can grow ingredients. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if Weasley I do say so boy. myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. <laughs> but she can't be everywhere. <laughs> Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Steel. Yeah, I can get you the feather. I'll get you the Fupa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Interesting, okay. Yeah, anything for a Weasley. Three fur. Three eggs. Giant purple feather. Cool. A well prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. 
Efficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience. Was it the fun. endurance potion? I think so. 30 seconds. Cool. So I don't need to do all that stirring and stuff now. Although 30 seconds feels like a lifetime sometimes. Cool. I just bottle up the entire whole game. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Nope. Get it! Oh, Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. You know. Not now, Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be point from Gryffindor again. <laughs> Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. Oh. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Okay, come in. <laughs> I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Yep. Oh, I could lie and say I don't know what that means. You mean by that? I have to fess up. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Yeah, no, that's super fair, because, like... I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Um, potions can be super deadly. Like, you mix the wrong things together, you just make a bomb. You know, it's... Rebellion! It's not even like, oh, you made a mess. No, you could, you could make a bomb. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. <laughs> you got me? No, it was nothing. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Potion craft. Young Slytherin. Hmm? Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fink. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Blank. Interesting. One eared uh, house elf. Yeah, I mean, I'll blindly trust anyone once. I oh. wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. Sure. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I am pretty awesome. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class. The giant and, frog things. Well, mine 
unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Um... What's there to be afraid of? Like, I'll be... kind of mean, but, like, not the meanest. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of yeah. how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. That's good. That's good. It rhymes. That's unkind or that's actually... That's, it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. <laughs> Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Tell me more. Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. Yes. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. So, so you're being made fun of because you're a coward and you want to prove people wrong by being a coward and having someone else do it for you. What sort of plants should I Fair. expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hmm. Hidden Herbology oh, this is Corridor. Going, Sounds this, intriguing. It's going back. I don't actually want to do that quest right now. I want to figure out... Um... What was I doing? Quests? Yeah. I want to figure out what that one-eared house elf wants. Rebellion. That was a key. Yes, hello, small key. Where are we going? We going up? Wonderful. First try. Awesome, awesome. Rebellion. Ding? What did you ding? Is it just the fire flu? Oh, oh. Yeah, you know, I could just keep on fast traveling, but I'm finding so many secrets by walking. I think it's better off to walk sometimes. Rebellion. You're a thing. I know you're a thing. You must be a thing. Oh. I never read you, did I? Haunted toilets. Unless in dire straits, it is probably best to avoid this particular toilet, as it is allegedly one of Peeves' favorite ranking spots. I don't know. Oh, there's a chest in there. Revelio. Oh. Oh, I start you on fire? Incendium. Yeah. Six of fifty, there's so Rebellion. many. I still don't know where you are. I haven't tried this spell. Wait. Oh, no, that's just a lock. 
can't, can't quite do that yet. Scrope knows about that book you found. Is it missing something? Scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrope has left another note across the bridge among the circle of rocks. Take care. Tell no one about this. Scrope? Who is Scrope? Someone not to be trusted for sure. I mean, house elves can be evil, right? Like, they can... They can do pretty much anything on their own. Like, they don't need to only do commands. Is it under this thing? No? Is it under this thing? No. You did tell me to meet you right here. Ah. Okay, now. Um, grab it. Firmly grasp it. Why can I not grab this? There we go. Almost there. It Griffin, stop. Almost there. Head for the pumpkins just down from the stone circle. Look inside one of them. You may be able to help poor broken-hearted Scrope. Pumpkins? Ah, I think I know just the place. Hmm. This isn't Hagrid's place, is it? It does look like Hagrid's place. Yeah. Look inside one of them. Oh. Hello, sir. <laughs> I love it. Expelliarmus. Excuse me. Um, he's doing some wizard stuff. You don't mind, do you? No? Okay. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Meet Scrope at the water's edge by the broken docks. Down to the water's edge? Hmm. This had better not be a trick. It feels like a trick. It feels very tricky. You're slowly luring me away. You're, you're bringing me to a secondary location at that. Leech juice. Nope, that's just a leech. I make the juice. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. I love it. I wanna... Incendium. Are these broken docks? Doesn't look that broken. Oh, I see. Over there. Yeah, no, that makes more sense. I do have a map. Leech. like a Merlin trial, but I don't have any of the, uh, any of those leafs to do it, though. I need to find more leaf stuff. <coughs> Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. 
Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Hmm. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. That's good. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. Oh. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. Oh, oh good. Um... It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring. Wonderful. Um... Oh, what what a kind heart only only removing an ear um missing pages you say are there any fire flues nearby no, because this looks like it's under the castle? Is that right? I'll follow the page. Page has never lied to me yet. What are you? Yes, you look like something, alright. Levioso! Do you have siblings? Do you have... So I'm back. Oh. Come again, giant kraken. Dodge that one in time. Can throw stuff too. Oh, 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 oh. oh, there's another one. Right. Oh, that is a lot of damage. What did I just expel Yamas you with? Did I steal your tongue from you? Expelliarmus. 
here. Let me also. There we go. Expelliarmus. Akio. Let me also. Those don't really seem to work. That works really well, though. Yeah, I like ancient magic. Expelliarmus, Leviosa, Incendio. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I have no more potions. Oh, I have no more potions. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Oh, why didn't that work? Levioso. Wait, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Please lock on. Okay, you can lock on to me, clearly. Okay. That was terrifying. <laughs> Ooh, look at him go! Okay. This feels like this is something, right? This feels too perfect not to be something. Revelio. Maybe it is nothing. Where do I go, magic book? Oh, of course, the giant, beautiful cave of wonders. Yeah, there's a picture of that giant kraken I just saw. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. A piece of toast? Incendio! Hmm. Oh, I like that. Neat. Could it be a visitor? Wonder how he died. Oh! Ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah! The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. <laughs> Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want ghost? with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest and I'll show you where to find the pages? 
I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. Well, of course, yeah. Squid toast, yep. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Lovely. Oh, well, it looks like we are at time here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, and if you really enjoyed my content, um, I have my Patreon down below in the com er, in the description as well. Um, it means a lot for those who have already donated something. You're awesome. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. And have a good one.